All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yamashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. I want to start off in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And I don't know what you people expect, man. All right? I don't know what y'all expect because the only thing you're going to get from the true servants, the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets, are the words of truth. Okay? Because we're speaking, we're speaking, you know, we're giving you the message, speaking the oracles of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Okay? We're not speaking nothing of our own. So when the Lord says, warn them, warn them from me, that's exactly what we're doing. All right? We're warning you. Because what's about to come upon this place Is a sore destruction Okay And the Lord is giving you a chance To repent Okay And how is he giving you a chance By warning you Okay So he sent his counsel Vessels To men of the Lord Whom he chooses To speak his word Speak his truth through us Okay And we're not going to be On this We're not going to be sided With the place That he tells us to prophesy against Okay Just like as the scriptures say Prophesy against Mount Seir Okay So we're not sided with this place We're against this place And we're against everyone Anyone who comes up against The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Anyone that's against the spirit of Yahweh Bash, the spirit of Yahweh Bash from Yahweh Shai. Okay? So let's read that again in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. And it says, The prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesied against, prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So why not? How can you think America, Babylon the Great is not on this list? This is the most wicked kingdom that have ever existed, okay? This great city? Why wouldn't this be on the list of being preached and prophesied against? What, what, what would make America, Babylon the Great so special that we shouldn't speak out against this place? Hmm? What makes it so special that we can't speak out against this place? Nothing, okay? And we're letting you know uh, what the Lord said, what's going to happen to this place. What's going to happen to this place? To a heavy judgment, okay? Destruction, as, as the scriptures say, for her sins have reached up into heaven, okay? That's exactly what took, what was, you know, the Heavenly Father said, okay? Her sins have reached up into heaven. You know, the Most High rem have remembered her iniquities, okay? So the Lord ain't letting these things slide, man. Okay? The Lord's not letting these things slide that will happen to his people, the apple of his, apple of his eye, the children of Israel. He ain't letting these things slide, man. Okay? But see, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you will want these things to, you know, to be not remembered. You will want these things to be let go. All the rape, robbery, pillaging that this devil have done to us in your mind, you would rather say, you know what? I forgive you for all the things that you have done to our people. And the way our mindset is now, you know, is, is the cause and effect of, all the, the, the effect of all the things that you caused against us. But what you say is, you know what? I forgive you. I forgive everything that you have done. Well, you may, but the Lord doesn't. Okay? You know? But that's, that's, a, that's, that's a little bit of, of uh, you know... That's part, that's part of the reason why the Lord's going to destroy this place, you know, because he has a controversy with the nations for Israel, you know, for Zion, as the scriptures say. <clears throat> but let's continue on. OK, because you people were the hearken into you people were the hearken into lies and hearken into the truth. You know. Let's go to the book of Isaiah.
Isaiah chapter 30. Verse. Is that what I want? Isaiah 30. No, Isaiah 28. Slokia. Yeah. No, it is 30. Slokia. Uh, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 10 it says I'll start at verse 9 That this is a rebellious people Lying children Children that will not hear the, hear the law of the Lord Which say to the seers See not and to the prophets Prophesy not unto us right things Speaking to us smooth things Prophesy deceits And this is what our people rather hear Instead of hearing the truth They want to hear what? They rather hear and hark They rather hearken unto lies you know, so this is why the pews of the heart of houses are filled, you know, every Sunday, you know, three days out the week. Even with people going in these places with their mask on. OK. Harking into what? Complete lies. Harking into false doctrine. You see. Because what? They're rebellious and, and they lying children. Hey. Crazy thing is they'll even lie to themselves. They'll know something is not the truth, but they'll lie to themselves and say, you know what? Well, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you know, this is right. Maybe that is right. I'll give him the benefit of the, of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? They'll lie to themselves just so they can continue listening to that soothing lie rather than hearing the harsh truth. Verse 10 would say to the seer, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not to us right things, speaking to us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Don't tell us the truth, tell us lies. Don't tell us destruction coming, tell us peace and safety. Don't tell us about judgment, tell us mercy, tell us salvation, which, all, which salvation is coming for the whole nation of Israel, you know far as salvation will be to the elect on this side and the ones that w w is not getting right will be judged harshly on this side because you'll be in a two-third club but you'll be in it you'll be in the kingdom back in your right mind so you'll be saved okay you'll be saved you will have you won't have no more uh, uh you know you'll be at one with your power again you know you won't be under the hand of your enemy You'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, serve your power and righteousness. You won't be able to be, you won't get sick. You'll be able to rest. You see what I'm saying? So ultimately you will be saved. As the scriptures say, all Israel will be, will be saved. But on this side, you're going to have to feel the judgment. Okay. Why? Because during this time of mercy, you under, you know, uh, uh, it says while they had liberty, they understood it not. As the scriptures say, matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. We got to get that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter nine. Yeah, because it's lucky. It's not liberty. It's uh, 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 it's not mercy. It's liberty. Um, Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse nine. It says, "Then, then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment, for such as for such as in their life have received benefits, and have not known me, and they have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty." And when, a, and, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And this is what we're telling you. This is what we're telling our people. That you're in a grace period. The doors of repentance are open. This is the time of mercy. Get right with the Lord. And if you don't want to hearken, guess what's going to happen to you? You're going to get judged. I mean, there ain't no other way to tell you. There ain't no nice way to say that if you don't get right with the Lord, you're going to be destroyed. What nice way is there to say that? There isn't. Okay, because you people are mistaken the merciful power, you know, you know, uh, as, as, what, as what people say in the world, you know, you're taking this kindness for weakness. So you're taking his mercy, his mercifulness for a weakness. But what you don't understand is... <laughs> You know, he, he he's far, 
far from that. Okay, he wasn't called Allah Shaja for no reason. You know, the world didn't know him by Allah Shaja for no reason. You can look that word up on your own. Scripture says, uh, uh, you know, the Lord is a man of war. Okay, so he's far from weak, but he's merciful, you know. He, people try to tend to run over on that. Well, you think you're running over because you really ain't. You see? So it says, "What say to the seer, see not, and to, to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speaking to us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Get ye out the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word, and trust in oppression, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, Who's breaking come up suddenly at an instance. Okay, and this is what's about to come upon you, Jakes. Alright. All you Israelites that are still bullshitting. Still believe you can do whatever the hell you want. Okay, while the doors of repentance is open. You, you, you keep playing around if you want to. You're gonna get you gonna get this 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 swift judgment that's gonna come upon you in unawares. Alright. So I got to my destination. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. So next time I want to say, Shalom.